When viewing a video tutorial and practicing it, we imagine that the results we get will be the same or at least similar to the video tutorial that we saw, but in reality it is not always as expected even though all the steps are in accordance with the tutorial. Maybe it's not our fault, but it could be that the tutorial maker overlooked important things that should be conveyed and instead conveyed what didn't need to be said. Here's the secret of the masterclass, Dynamic Atmosphere with Lighting and Physics, by Benny D. First, Lighting. Um, actually right now I've already put this um, directional light. I have only directional light in the scene, that's the only source of light now, directional light. I've deactivated every other thing. In the beginning of the video Benny D said that he only uses directional lumming from the left. But in fact he does not only use directional light but also key light. I don't know why that is so, lighting is a very sensitive thing in the 3D world, no matter how good the model you have made if the lighting is bad then the result is very bad. Number 2, Props. In this tutorial Benny D uses high quality props to make it look beautiful when receiving lighting, reflection and light refraction. But that's not our focus, but the function and placement of the props. Two large stones on the background function to reduce the light from behind so that the scene is not too dazzling. While the two colored fabrics on the right and the think make the scene richer in color. Number 3, Visual Settings. The following are the visual settings used by Benny D in his tutorial. Benny D applies five settings. First ambient occlusion. Second HDR. Third fog. Four IBL. And finally global illumination. Don't forget to change the advanced bloom settings parameter, this is the most important part when applying HDR, otherwise you will find a very dazzling scene. This section is also very important, because IBL is a 3D rendering technique which involves capturing an omnidirectional representation of real-world light information as an image, this image is then projected onto a dome or sphere analogously to environment mapping, and this is used to simulate the lighting for the objects in the scene. This allows highly detailed real-world lighting to be used to light a scene, instead of trying to accurately model illumination using an existing rendering technique, using different images will provide different lighting as well, so make sure to use the same image, in this tutorial Benny D uses the sunset underscore 2.hdr image. How to replace it by double-clicking on the image and selecting the appropriate image. 4. Color grading. And the last secret that annoys me is color grading. I don't know for sure but if you pay attention to the scene before and after it is rendered it will be clear that the use of color grading is here, and it's not mentioned at all. And after I applied all the visual settings earlier the result was overbright, because there is actually one more big secret in the tutorial, what it is.
The sky? Yes, the biggest secret is the eye sky, the blue sky with bright lights at the bottom gives the effect of the sunrise, and the orange land in the eye sky gives a beautiful orange color to the lighting. Once again, this is our personal opinion, if there is a mistake I am very sorry, and if anyone manages to imitate Benny D's tutorial and it turns out I was wrong, please correct this video so that we can get better results, thank you for visiting Iclonesia, have a nice day.